can't wait to see some San Franciscan trees. <laughs> no, but this bus kind of smells like my grandma. My grandma smells good. I know, exactly. How long is this bus ride going to take anyways? Who knows? Hey, hey Hannah. What? Knock, knock. Oh my gosh. I said knock, knock. Who's there? Cows go. Cows go who? No, cows go moo. Wow, that was a big one. I know, I know. I looked it up on Google. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. How'd you know? Google. Oh my gosh, look at that immense tree. Dang! That's one big tree! Who created this park anyways? I think it was that William Kent guy. Oh yeah, there's a brochure right here about him. Let's not read it. Okay, okay, let's read it. Okay. <laughs> William Kent was a congressman from California. He bought 611 acres of coastal redwoods to save them from loggers and developers. Let me see that. In 1908, he made a big decision to donate 211 acres to the federal government. Wow. President Theodore Roosevelt then declared Muir Woods a national monument. Wow. Uh, that guy saved, like, a bunch of trees. I know, but, like, do you think they'll have these awesome t-shirts at the gift shop? Maybe they will have William Kent t-shirts. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited to take selfies. I know. The lighting is going to be perfect. Do you think William Kent has taken selfies there before? Maybe we'll see the place where he once stood. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Me too. Okay, back to the brochure. Okay. Kent was born in Chicago, Illinois, in 1864. In 1887, he graduated Yale University. Wow. When William Kent was in his 30s, he liked to spend his free time investing in real estate and livestock. Wow. This guy seemed pretty important. Yeah, but not as important as George Washington. Yeah, well, George Washington was like our country's savior. 